My family gets questions all the time. Could we really be from Italy because with the blonde hair and the blue eyes? My mother moved to New Jersey when she was 14 years old from Italy. My mother's so Italian, she never worked a job, she never drove a car. Her whole life was dedicated to making food for the family. That's what my mother did. My mother made food for 50 people every single day. They weren't there, but just in case they came. <laughs> And whenever my family was done eating that food, my mother always said the same thing under her breath to one of her kids. She was like this, you see this food that your mother just made for your relatives? They better get a good look at it because this is the last time I'm cooking. <laughs> Especially a holiday. 45 years in a row now is the last time my mother gonna cook for Thanksgiving. She's not gonna do it no more until Christmas comes and then she'll cook and say the same thing. This is the last time I'm cooking for Christmas. You know why, young Michael? Because your relatives don't appreciate when your mother cooks. You think they come off to the house with coffee and cake? Go bring me some coffee and cake. You understand what your mother's trying to tell you? And I'm getting too old now. I can't be doing this no more. Somebody else in our family should take a turn and cook. I'll tell you what you do. Call your Uncle Leo. Tell him I said, take a picture of all your relatives eating because this is it. This is the last time I'm cooking. <laughs> My mom has been saying this for so long and so often that I strongly believe it was my mother's greatest, greatest, greatest ancestor that was responsible for the Last Supper. <laughs> and I could picture my mother back in biblical times because my mother would have yelled at everybody. My mother would have been like, Jesus Christ, come here. Get over here, you're not the leader, I'm the leader. Stand over here, put your hair in a ponytail and put your slippers on. I don't like when you're dressed like this. Now let me tell you something about your friends, Jesus. These boys you keep calling the apostles. They don't appreciate when I cook. You think they'd offer me bread and wine to come over the house with some bread and wine. You understand what your mother's trying to tell you, Jesus? And I'm getting too old. I can't be doing this no more. I'll tell you what you do. You call your friend Leonardo da Vinci, okay? Tell him I said paint a big picture of all your friends eating because this is it. This is the Last Supper. And for 40 days and 40 nights, they fasted because she wouldn't cook until Easter came. And then she cooked. And that's why Christ rose again from the dead. He smelled the sauce and the meatballs. He was Italian. I'm Mike Marino. Thank you very much.